Meanwhile, as part of efforts to stop pipeline vandalism and militancy in the Niger Delta, the president is to meet with traditional rulers and other stakeholders from the area on Tuesday next week. The president's visit is prelude to the launch of a $10 billion infrastructure rebirth investment program aimed at the oil-producing states of the Niger Delta. The Minister of State for Petroleum Resources, Dr. Ibe Kachuku, has been speaking in Abuja about the project. On Tuesday, uh, the, the first, uh, we've been able to get the president uh, in, in his usual kind nature to have a meeting with uh, the Niger Delta stakeholders. About 50 of them are going to be coming to that meeting, and it comprises uh, the, all the kings drawn from the seven or eight uh, oil producing uh, states in the Niger Delta. Um, the heads of securities who are here present today, um, and some government officials, certainly all the ministers from uh, the Niger Delta area. And it will be our first attempt to actually uh, get them face to face in the same room with the president. Therefore, to understand what his vision is in terms of the Niger Delta security issues. So that's one. Also, we'll be launching uh, about a $10 billion uh, infrastructural rebirth investment program uh, in the Niger Delta region. Now, this is not money going to come necessarily from federal government. It's money that's going to come from uh, oil companies, um, um, investors, individuals who are ready to do private sector infrastructural investments for tariffing. Uh, obviously, state and federal government, as the case may be. But what is going on international organizations who have shown some indication of interest to help? What, what is most important is not the number of, of the fund, is the conceptualization of that funding, is the fact that governors will have to come together as a regional block to begin to look at cross-state investments, whether they be roads, whether they be railways, whether they be power facilities, whether they be specialist hospitals or whatever, because right now there's a, a siloing you know, of, of investment. Every state just scatters for themselves.